Hello, good day to everybody. Today is the fifth day of my quarantine, 9 of December. So far, everything has been good. Uh, I can cope with the routine, especially during the work days where I have something to attach on, you know. And thanks to the commitment of me making daily video, it also helped me to spend a lot of time. I would say that just think about the concept, the idea, what to shoot and how to edit. It really made my mind occupied and I feel happy by doing that. Do you notice this uh, today vlog will be recorded in English? Mainly because I felt that uh, it will reach out to more people and most of the friends or family members that I know um, can understand both languages. So, and it's good to me to use uh, English to communicate more because my native uh, language is still prone to Mandarin, Cantonese. For English, it's something that I'm not so comfortable with. But it's alright, everyone needs to stretch out and try to do things that are out of the comfort zone so we all can develop together, right? So today, nothing much special. I did some exercise in the morning, as you can see here. Right now, I need to do some things that I need to do, which is laundry. Okay, interesting because this hotel is not a full-fledged hotel that also provides laundry service. I kind of know that when I book this hotel, but it doesn't matter, uh, laundry is not rocket science, right? All you need to have is some uh, laundry powder, you know, the, the detergent or what you call that some hot water or water in a basin so what I will do now is quickly bring all this dirty laundry into the toilet and put it inside this basin this, this basin has been properly cleaned so I just run the hot water and make sure all this laundry is soaked with the water yep. and on top of that I did bring it, this uh, laundry powder so and and this is a product from Mway I'm not trying to do direct selling but I think their product is pretty good I only need a little bit and it's quite effective so I just soak the powder into the lot into all the clothes and socks that I want to wash I just make it like spread out evenly and all I need to do is just soak it for a good maybe 15 minutes then I'll come back I have to transfer the laundry into this uh, kitchen basin because the one in the bathroom is just clogged and it's not really working, you know. So what I'll do is just put the water here to run through the laundry and just use my hand to just rinse it. Because all of this material that I bought, they are quick dry and normally they are the, from Arism, Uniqlo Arism and also uh, for Nike is I dry fit because it's, it's, it's very suitable to use this kind of material in Malaysia because uh, our humidity is too high sometimes it's difficult to just uh, have their kind of thick material clothing so basically it's just the simple because I don't really go out and I don't sweat much as well, uh, unless I do exercise so the laundry is not really that dirty so all I need to do is just rinse it dry <sighs> the side and I will look for the hanger so the hotel have provided some hanger in fact three of them so 
And you know where, where do I hang my clothes? Over here. Yep. This I found this is the best place. So I put the hanger over here first. Why I chose this place to hang because the uh, outside is always raining and this place is high and it is very near to the aircon so the aircon will actually bring the moisture away and let the laundry to be dry so all I need to do is just to twist all this laundry one more time to ensure all of the water will come out You see, when we are outside, we have to think of a way to solve all this uh, problem. And this is the place that I will hang my hang my cloak. Okay. In case you wonder why I didn't wash any underwear. It is because I washed the other day and I got enough stock for the remaining few days, you know. Oh no. I got a situation here. I got a situation where I'm not tall enough, you know. But never mind, just hang it like that. Ah, that's the struggle of a person that is with below average height that's me you know but never mind this is they say short person got more brilliant idea in Cantonese they say ai zai to gai because when you are short there's a lot of things you need to think out of the box to solve the issue so these uh, socks I can hang it here yeah yeah guys, that's how I clean and hang my clothes. By another maybe one, two hours, it will be dry. Okay, thank you so much. Hi all. I'm feeling super happy right now because uh, my colleague Hui Chie had offered me to pack dinner for me. And what is more exciting is that is one of my favorite restaurants in Brunei. It's called Kaizen Sushi. Not only they have a huge menu to select, but in terms of the freshness, the taste, and the price, the environment service, everything is spot on. Uh, I'm very excited because uh, there's been so many days I eat, keep continuing to repeating eating the same kind of food I feel boring about it I need something special and in Brunei we do not have things like a uh, food panda or grab you know you know what's the reason let me show you if you look over to the road you realize that for Brunei actually there's a lot of cars it, just because you know uh, the cars is very cheap, very affordable, and most of the family they have more car than the people who living there. Just look at the house, which is the opposite one. This one, he have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight cars, you know, in the house. So I'm very excited to share with you how's the food look like when it got delivered. I will just unpack and do the opening ceremony with all of you. I'm very very excited right now because I'm holding my favorite food Kaizen Sushi and Hui Chet is the one who helped me to tap out this. I'm very excited. I can't wait to share with you how all these uh, food look like. I will just proceed to open it up, yeah? So I have unpacked all the food. As you can see, this is a very big spread. So I have salmon sashimi, 
potato salad, beef, I think it's teriyaki beef, garlic rice, and one of my favorite, Kaizen Maki. So, this is my dinner tonight, and thanks Kui Che to make it possible. I really appreciate it. You can see the joy of my face. So happy, you know. So I'm going to just dive in and try to enjoy my dinner. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, bye bye.